G'day, it's Jamie, and welcome to Where's My Yowie. Today, I'm reading an old newspaper report about big cat or thylacine sightings near Bendigo, Victoria in 1895. So we'll get into it. This was published in the Bendigo Advertiser on Saturday, the 23rd of February, 1895. Title, The Tantanula Tiger. The Tantanula Tiger, like the sea serpent and the bunyip of the natives, appears to have no settled place of abode, and after ramming from the Murray to the sea, has been seen within the last week, evidently making its way towards Benigo. A well-known farmer residing near Shelbourne states that a couple of nights ago, he was disturbed by hearing his dogs barking in a most excited manner, and on going out, was just in time to view by the light of a waning moon, the animal bounding away into the surrounding scrub, while an overturned pile of fruit cases added to the reality of the scene. He describes the appearance of the animal to be very similar to the cuts of a tiger, which have been given in certain illustrated papers recently. Another eyewitness states that he also saw the Tantanula stranger close to Cameron's old hotel at break of day, at its accustomed rate of travelling, which leads one to think it is possessed of the proverbial seven-league boots. It should by this time be close to the city, and local sportsmen should hold themselves in readiness to encounter such big game. The future of this erratic wanderer will be looked forward with interest. The end. Well, this is interesting. So there's obviously two of them in, they're talking about in this story because it couldn't have gotten to the distance between the two uh, places so quickly. Um, but it's just amazing how many people are seeing uh, big cats and thylacines or whatever they are in the bush. And like, there's no way that this is a Tantanula tiger. It couldn't have got away over that distance in that time. Okay, that's it for me. I'll get back to you all next time. Bye.